Hey guys, it's Princess CX, and today I am filming a chatty, sort of get ready with me type video. Um, so I am makeupless, um, and yeah, I figured I would just chat and feel myself getting ready for the day because um, I feel like I haven't talked to you guys, just like talking in a little while, um, and I've been slow on the videos, so hopefully this sort of makes up for that. Um, so I'm just going to be doing my, like, everyday look. I've already washed and toned my face. Um, I've been using the Triatica Asin Oil Cut Cleanser and TOC Toner, which I did a full review on, and I'll link that below. Um, they sent these products to me, and I am loving them. Um, they're really, they're not really expensive, but they're sort of mid to high price point, but they're totally worth it. Um, before I used these, I had a lot of acne and I think a lot of it was due to stress but also just in general I was getting more acne I had a lot of acne scarring um, that I just couldn't get to go away and I was using the Sun and Park beauty water and nothing was working um, to like help lighten my acne scars so um, I was sort of just accepting the fact that I was always gonna have to cover this up with concealer but I started using these two and I am telling you guys my skin has cleared up dramatically I think I've been using these for um, maybe three to four weeks, about a month now, and my skin has changed, like, so much for the better. I don't really wear foundation that often anymore as a result, but <clears throat> I am going to apply a little bit of moisturizer. I'm using the Skin Food Yuja Oil Sea Cream, which this is just a deluxe sample that I got in a set for free from Skin Food, um, because the lady who works there, uh, is my favorite. She literally is the best employee ever. Every time I go in there, she's, like, super nice and, um, helps me find things and gives me recommendations, and I think she recognizes me at this point, so she gives me lots of freebies. It's just awesome. Um, so she actually gave me this set. Greatest thing about Korea is free stuff. Um, uh, I'm gonna take a little bit of my hand. I just used a Q-tip to get it out so it would be more sanitary. A clean Q-tip. Um, I'm gonna mix a little bit of Max Strobe Cream in it. I tend to like to do that because I think it adds just a little bit more sheen glow to my natural skin. Um, but anyways, yeah, my skin has basically cleared up almost completely. My acne scars are starting to really fade. And those are the only two products I've been using. Um, some days I don't even moisturize just because my skin doesn't feel that dry. But um, those are the only two products that I've been using morning and night. And they've made such a huge difference in my skin. Let me get a mirror out use this as a mirror today. I have my other mirror set up behind the camera, if you guys can see me. I also hope I'm in focus for this video. I'm really disappointed if I go to edit the video and I'm completely out of focus, because that's something that would happen to me. Um, so yeah, I just put that on my face. Sorry, my bangs are in my face. This is how I've been styling my bangs. If you guys have full frontal bangs, like full frontal bangs, um, and they were see-through bangs, if, if you had see-through bangs and um, you let them grow out, you know how easy it is to like hide them or maneuver them. That's the one great thing about see-through bangs, which is what I had for a little while. So mine have like grown out past my eyelashes at this point, and I don't want to recut them because I don't want to have to deal with bangs again. But um, I really like styling them sort of like this. I don't know. I don't know why or how I started doing that, but that is what I'm doing, and it seems to be working, so. Sorry about the sort of strange angle. Um, the only tripod I can really use in this room is um, my DSLR Gorilla Pod type deal, so it's, it's a bit strange, I guess. But we're going to continue. Um, I'm going to go in with some brows. Um, gotta start with the brows because I look like a bald cat without my eyebrows on. Um, I'm using the Topshop Brow Pencil in Topsy Turvy. No, that's not it. I don't know. <laughs> Whenever I tell people about this pencil, I'm like, yeah, it's in Topsy Turvy and I don't know where I got that from. Um, it's in Vicious Circle, which is not even remotely close. Um, which is like their blonde sort of taupe color. I, I have literally used this pencil forever and still not run out. Um, this is the color I used when I was blonde a few years ago um, and I still use it now because I don't know I just don't like dark brows on me I feel like they overtake my face it's not a good look I do my brows really rough too by the way so 
if they're not even, I'm not ultra concerned. Look, I was like bragging about my skin and now that I look at it up close, it's, it's not a good skin day. Um, yeah. I have been having really good skin days, but today is clearly not one of them. The one day I decided to film and brag about my skin is the day my skin looks probably the worst it's looked in the past, like, week. But I promise on any other given day, it does actually look good. That is it for the brows. Um... But, yeah, as you guys know, I have, I live in Korea now, and I've been here for a little over two months, so I have a little less than two months left. Um, what do I want to do next? I'll do concealer. Um, and, I don't know, it's been, it's been a wild ride, that's for sure. I'm using the Glossier Stretch Concealer in Medium 20. Um, this is normally what I do. I don't really wear foundation nowadays. I just take, this is an Etude House eye base brush, which I actually really like for concealer because it's fluffy, and I just put it on um, whatever spots I want to cover up. I don't really want to cover a ton of things, just the few imperfections that are like standing out to me. Okay, I think that's good. Um, but, I mean, yeah, I've really been enjoying it here. Um, <clears throat> I have, like, a set, sort of, friend group now, and, um, everything, and I'm excited because we are planning a trip to Pusan in a couple weeks. Um, we're gonna go down there and just stay for the weekend. Um, it's about, via KTX, it's, like, um two hours away, but we're, KTX is like $50 one way, and we are broke college students, so we're taking, um, a bus, which takes about four hours, so it's double the time, but it's also half the price. It's only $20 to go by bus, um, and Airbnbs in Korea are so unbelievably cheap. It's crazy how overpriced, now that I've, you know, seen Airbnb prices in Korea, it's crazy how overpriced Airbnbs are in the U.S., um, because Airbnbs here are like $60 a night. Even the really, really, like, nice loft ones that are, like, two stories and come with, like, six beds, they're still only, like, 60 or 60 to $80. I think the most expensive one I've seen is, like, 115 And in the U.S., they get up to, like, $500 a night. Like, people in the U.S. are crazy with their Airbnb prices. But, yeah, we're going to be going down there. It's not, you know, the most ideal time to go to Busan because it's starting to get, um, pretty chilly here in Seoul, actually, and so I imagine it's pretty chilly in Busan as well, but, um, nonetheless, I'm pretty excited to go, because I haven't gotten out of Seoul since I've been here, so, um, yeah, I'm excited to go there, spend some time with my friends, should be pretty fun, um, I just primed my eyes, this is the VDL Expert Color Primer for Eyes, I'm gonna go in with my NYC Sunny Bronzer, and my e.l.f. crease brush. This is literally my everyday look. It's pretty lazy, but it works for me. Um, but yeah, it's been good. Um, we had uh, midterms this past week, so that was probably the most stressful point of me being here was midterms, because the classes themselves aren't hard, but um, I was really stressed out about the midterms and like gathering together all my knowledge to take the midterms, but now that it's over, I only have one more paper due before midterm season is like officially over for me, um, and I won't have to worry about it anymore, so the Busan trip should land nicely after all of our midterm stuff is done and right before we start getting into finals territory, <clears throat> so I use it as a relaxation trip before we get back into the reality that is having to deal with um, tests and exams and everything, but, um, yeah, I've also been watching Black Mirror, which, if you have not heard of it, you are totally missing out, um, it's a series on Netflix, it was originally, I think, 
I don't want to say it was on the BBC because I feel like that's super stereotypical. Because <laughs> I feel like it wasn't on the BBC. Um, but it was. Sorry, you can hear things. I always keep my window open because um, they don't have. We don't have AC here in the dorms anymore. We had it for a while, but now that it's sort of cooled off a little bit, they took it away. So I keep my window open so that I can get some air in here and to dry my clothes. Um, but. Um, so sorry if you can hear traffic and things like that, I'll try to talk over it. But anyways, it was originally a British series, um, and then Netflix renewed it for the third season. So they split the third season into two parts. So the first six episodes are up now, I think the second six are coming up in December, if I'm correct. But, uh, I just randomly started watching it because everyone was tweeting about it. And I was like, what is this? What's going on? <laughs> do I need to watch this so always one for new Netflix shows I of course started watching it and um, by the way that was just the black cream shadow in my Festoon Plus classics palette from and other stories on a little detail brush type deal um, as eyeliner I'm gonna use um, my Etude House shadow in whew, what color is this one of the Budapest colors let me see if I can find it Vintage Rome Film. Vintage Rome Film. BR426 is the color. I depotted these. I depotted eight of them um, to fill this palette. So four neutrals and four sort of red, orangey based colors. Um, I'm just going to take that on my finger and that's going to go all over my lid. It adds a nice subtle sparkle uh, right over the eyeliner as well because I'm going to redefine my eyes with a different eyeliner. But it's really, really, really good. Um, it does make you really paranoid. <laughs> I told my friend to watch it, and she said it made her paranoid as well. But it will blow your mind in, like, every way. I don't want to spoil it. But every episode is different from the others. So, like, none of them really connect plot-wise or character-wise. They're all... Some of them are directed by different directors. It's an anthology series. So that's how it works. But um, it's totally worth a watch if you need something to watch on Netflix. Even if you don't... Try and watch a few episodes, and I can promise you, you'll get hooked, so you'll want to watch the rest anyways. Um, I recommended my friend to start in Season 3, because in my opinion, Season 3 is the best season out of all three of them. I have watched every single episode, and I think Season 3 is the best. This is Miracle Romance Eyeliner. It's a Sailor Moon eyeliner, <laughs> which I'm not a Sailor Moon fan. Is it Sailor Moon? I think so. I'm not a Sailor Moon fan. The packaging is just freaking adorable, even if you don't like Sailor Moon, but it actually comes without... The top comes separate, so you can use it as, like, a regular just eyeliner, but once you put the top on, it's pretty hard to get off. Um, I just bought it because my friend uses the liquid liner of this variety, and the liquid liner of this variety is apparently really, really popular, but I got the pencil kind in it. It, I, it sucks, in my opinion. I don't really like it, but it was pretty expensive, so I'm just going to use it up. Just messy line my eyes. Um, yeah, the third season is the best in my opinion, but once you get hooked to that one and you go back and watch the other episodes, the other episodes are really good as well. So, Okay, I don't know where we cut off because <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to the camera cutting off, but I did my mascara and I'm going to go in with some lipstick. This is the um, Beauty People... Lip Tight Silky Color Stick in 17 Dorothy. I picked up two of these. You can only buy these online. Um, they're a Korean product, but you can only buy them online, even in Korea. Um, and they look like little crayons, which is hilarious. I bought one in Windy as well. This is number 8 Windy, which is a um, bright red-orange type color. I wanted Lucy, which is just a plain um, true red color, but it was out of stock. So I just got... Wendy, because it was buy one, it was one plus one, buy one get one free, and I knew I wanted Dorothy, but I didn't know what other color I wanted. This is a really nice uh, everyday fall color. It's sort of like a, I think they describe it perfectly, it's a My Lips But Better Red, which makes no sense. Uh, but basically it's not an in your face red, it's like a brownie red type color. So I think it's really flattering. And the formula is super freaking creamy. It's 
also that's been my sort of thing recently I don't really apply uh, I don't really fully apply lipstick to the top half to my upper lip um, I really like it just looking sort of soft I don't like defining my cupid's bow perfectly I feel like it makes my lips look sort of strange so I just like really soft applications where the lines at the edges of my lips are sort of blurred um, so yeah that's what I've been doing with literally all my lipsticks recently so I'm gonna throw this in my bag because it is very creamy so it didn't have great staying power but <clears throat> I really like the color so it's sort of worth it to me I feel like I'm missing something maybe not maybe I'm just crazy missing something. Mm. No, I think that's it. <laughs> see if I can get my hair to cooperate. My little brush from Daiso. Good old Daiso is coming in handy. Uh, me and my friend are going to Shinsa today, which is actually, it's Shinsa Yok, which takes you to Karosuke, um, which is a really nice <coughs> sort of area um, near Gangnam. And it's a little bit expensive, but <coughs> it's just really relaxing. There's never really a ton of people in Karosuke, actually. The, the few times that I've been, there's never a ton of people, which is really nice. And I definitely don't think there'll be a ton of people today because it's Thursday morning or Thursday around noon. Um, and so we don't have to go to class or anything. So we are headed there. There's this place called Bochi Iyaki, which means Bochi story. Bochi is like rice cake in Japanese. Um, in Korean, it's called Dok. But um, the place is called Bochi Iyaki. So they make rice cake filled with pot, which is red bean, um, and fruit. So I'm freaking excited, and apparently they're only like each on each, which is like two dollars US. <clears throat> so we're gonna try three and just split them in half, um, but I'm excited to try it. And then we're gonna go find a thrift store near Gangnam, see if we can find a thrift store. If not, probably just walk around and look around anyways, just because we have really nothing else to do, and it's pretty nice outside today so I'm excited to venture out um, I might vlog a little bit and if I do I'll insert it into this chatty get ready with me video but I hope you guys enjoyed this and um, if you want more of these or tutorials or anything like that whatever you guys want to see just let me know and I will try and get them filmed for you now that I've determined a decent setup in my dorm room I can film way more videos for you guys because before I wasn't filming because my dorm room had really awful lighting, but I'm actually getting really good lighting if I sit it in, directly in front of my window and my lights are on and I film during the peak of the day. So um, I should be able to still film got videos for you guys inside the dorm room and it won't turn out awful. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, by the way, my ears, if you're wondering what I'm wearing, my ears are from Style Nanda. Um, my uppers are from Zara. My shirt is from G Market. It's got these like cool bell sleeves. Um, and you can't see my pants, but I'm wearing my American Apparel black riding pants, which are still my favorite pants. And then I'm going to wear these boots, which are from. Ugh. Ugh. Well, I wish I could show you. There we go. These boots, which are from Madden Girl, I think. I think they're old Madden Girl <laughs> collection. <laughs> And I'm probably going to use this bag, which is from ASOS and has blue paint on the tips because I wore it when I went to paint a bridge for my friend's birthday and now it is dirty. But yeah, I have to go soon. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I'm not out of focus now. Um, and I will talk to you guys later.